Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT to write a good press release. What I'm going to be doing is using a template thanks to Shopify, allow me to show you here. Very simple, as it says, this is a sample press release format. There are seven parts to a standard press release. So we have our title and italicized subheading to summarize the news, location where the news is based, i.e. your headquarters, two to three paragraphs of detail. We have the bulleted facts, company description, contact information, and some hashtags. So as you can see, it's not gonna be a very long press release, but we're gonna be using this just so you can get up and running very quickly if you know the details. For this random example, I said, I need you to write a full press release for me, around 800 words, here are the main details. So this is going to be fun because usually I break things up into kind of smaller pieces, especially if I want to say do like a full article. The reason for that is because I need to be a little bit more specific within the article. With this, I'm pretty much just giving it all the information that I can and having it roll with it. So this was based upon creating a title uh, for rebranding my business to Marketing Island. Uh, this is just something I came up with at the top of the, my head, but I just wanted to use myself as an example happening in Florida, even though it's online. Then I put give two to three paragraphs of detail to showcase how this will benefit others. And I put the benefits include many you new YouTube videos, reviews, and tutorials. We have bulleted facts about why people prefer video tutorials and reviews on YouTube, a description of the Marketing Island YouTube channel, and of course, contact information. And that's going to be it. So let's click on enter here and see what we get. Right, great. It's funny at the end where it says, please provide me with the specific details to fill out the blanks in the press release. Obviously, you're going to do that yourself, but we get a decent amount of uh, content here, probably a little less than 800 words. So you could always add more if you needed. But let's read this given the fact it's just a one shot thing. So for immediate release, Business Sam rebrands to Marketing Island. Florida USA is excited to announce that they have rebranded to Marketing Island. This rebranding is a significant step forward for their company, and they are thrilled to share their new name and mission with the world. Marketing Island is dedicated to providing the best possible resources for businesses and individuals to improve their marketing efforts. One of the ways they plan to do this is through the creation of many new YouTube videos, reviews, and tutorials. These resources will be available for free to anyone looking to improve their marketing skills. Now we talk about the benefits of tutorials are numerous. Uh, they provide a visual and auditory learning experience, making it easier for people to understand and retain the info. Additionally, they can be accessed at any time and from any location, making them convenient for busy professionals and students. Furthermore, they allow for a more engaging and interactive learning experience, increasing the chances of retention and application. Then we talk about a, a wide variety of content, tutorials, reviews, interviews, case studies, committed to providing valuable resources to help businesses and individuals succeed in the ever-changing digital marketing landscape. For more information, website, contact, name, address, phone, email, website, and you got it. And just like that, very easily, very quickly, we have a simple press release. So if you're wondering why this was about a name change, there's a lot of different reasons you can use a um press release for. So these are just some examples that, you know, Shopify had that I went with. So launching a new business product or service, holding a large contest. Like for example, if a company just raised like $500 million, they're probably going to talk about it because that's a big news. You know what I mean? So partnering with a charity, community, organization, or celebrity, hosting an event, winning an award, sharing a customer success story, announcing a merger or acquisition, rebranding, which is what I did in this example, or promoting or hiring a new executive. There could be plenty of other things that you talk about. About, but those are just some of the examples. Thanks to Shopify for the article and helping us out when it comes to utilizing this very simple template. And pretty much all I did was create the content that the template gave me. So we talked about the things we needed. Uh, it was based upon the title. You could even go branch by branch or piece by piece and just do give me, you know, five unique titles when it comes to rebranding my business to so and so. Then, of course, we can do each section talking about where it was. But I felt it was pretty simple to do all just in one. That's really up to you if you want to go more, if you want to extend it, say, give me more benefits or give me more features or talk more about what the YouTube channel is going to have. Those are obvious ways that you can add more. But all in all, a very quick video when it comes to using chat GPT for press releases, using a very simple template that just about anyone can use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.